Center has been tracking the storm system. Kate, is Hermine going to cause problems here for us in the Piedmont? You know what? It absolutely is. It's bringing in some rain right now, but I can tell you as we move further into the weekend, we're certainly going to see a clear up and it looks like for Sunday, even parts of Saturday and into Monday, that sunshine is going to come back out. But you know what? We've already had a lot of high school football games canceled tonight because of rain. Let's get right to it and let you know what to expect. So the heaviest rain is down to the southeast and you'll certainly see that when I show you radar here in just a few minutes. Want to mention that today and tomorrow winds will be from 12 to 18 miles per hour, some higher, some a little lower than that. But the gusts are what really concern me. Those gusts will be much higher than that. We're going to break that down as well. And then for the holiday weekend, as I mentioned, we will have increasing sunshine and those winds will begin to diminish, which is excellent news if you're staying here at home. But if you have family down at the beach, I want to let you know exactly when Tropical Storm Hermine is going to affect them and what it's going to do. So right now we've got winds at 50 miles per hour, gust up to 65 miles per hour as Tropical Storm Hermine continues to move up the coast. Take a look at this. It'll be in South Carolina tonight by about 8 o'clock. Winds will be at 50 miles per hour, then it will continue to move up the northeast coast near our beaches. And this is Carolina Beach, Curie Beach, Southport, Cape Hatteras, Bald Head Island, you name it. We're certainly going to feel effects from Tropical Storm Hermine in our beaches. This is tomorrow morning by 8 a.m. Winds at about 50 miles per hour. Now, what this is really going to do is create choppy surf, so rip currents are certainly going to be a concern. Rain, obviously a factor, and heavy winds out there because those gusts are going to be fairly high around the coast. Now. Once it hits our coast, it'll continue to move out to the southeast. So by 8 p.m. on Saturday and then into Sunday, it really continues its move up north and it could affect areas such as uh, just right up here in these northern states. And that's where it'll be Wednesday by 8 a.m. with wind speeds increasing to 60 miles per hour. But what does that mean for our area? Well, take a look at radar with me right now because this is what's happening and you can see a good number of showers moving in and this is why because we've got just still a nice swirl down here headed up from Florida into South Carolina pushing that moisture up to our area. And as I mentioned a little earlier, certainly the Piedmont Triad will notice some of that coming in tonight. I can tell you Randolph County is certainly going to feel that Montgomery County, Moore County. So let's tell you about the precipitation, what we're seeing as far as rain totals are concerned. Now, right down here near Wilmington, around two inches of rain and then even further south, we're seeing anywhere from four to six inches of rain as we continue to move up uh, toward New Bern. We got three inches of rain. So anywhere in between Wilmington to the New Bern area, really looking at two to three inches of rain at this point. Rain total is going to be a little less as we approach areas like the Piedmont Triad and into Raleigh, looking more around two inches at this point. But you know what? That's still a lot of water to be dealing with. So anything you're doing tonight, make sure you take that umbrella and you know what? Make sure you make plans inside because it will be raining into tonight. But as I mentioned, tomorrow as the weekend really kicks off, we'll clear up quite a bit. I'm going to break that down later. Do want to show you the winds and you can see 17 mile per hour winds in Greensboro, 16 mile per hour in High Point. So anywhere in the teens here is what we're going to be expecting as far as winds are concerned. Gusts will be higher, but by Sunday things certainly start to calm down. Saturday night really into Sunday, those winds start to calm and they become back into the single digits there by Sunday around four o'clock in the afternoon. Let's talk though initially about Labor Day. I know a lot of you have cookouts planned. I even got some messages on Facebook asking, can we play golf? So let's show you what it's going to be like on Saturday. 80 degrees. We're going to have some clouds out there. It's going to be breezy, but I do see that sunshine coming out in the afternoon. 82 on Sunday, mostly sunny and seasonable. That will be your golf day. And then by Monday, we're up to 87, warming up, sunny skies, perfect for a cookout. Temperatures out there right now in the high 60s to 70s around the Piedmont Triad. So this evening, we're going to be at 70 degrees, partly cloudy with showers and storms possible into the evening hours. Overnight tonight, we're at 60 degrees with showers likely, and those clouds will be with us. Into tomorrow, we're at 80 degrees. We've got a 20% chance for a shower, and it looks like that'll take place in the morning, and then the sun will come out. Over the next three days, we are in the 80s with the only storm chance being tomorrow. Guys, back to you.